So my name is Carlos Sandy Thomas. I'm from the uh, people of Miskitu of Mosquitia in, in Nicaragua. Uh, I'm the uh, great great grandson of the last uh, chieftain of the Miskito people, and I am uh, the honorary representative of the uh, Council of Elder of Mosquitia. In the reason I'm here in the UN uh, Permanent Forum is to talk about the situation that my people lives in Nicaragua and Honduras. Um, and uh, especially in Nicaragua right now, we have a very uh, dire situation. The, uh, uh, the people are losing their land right now because the government is uh, taking over uh, with uh, the people we call them colonos. I guess in uh, English it's colonialist. That's um, uh, financed, I would say, by the government and they are taking over indigenous lands um, uh, and even murdering indigenous people and we don't have no law that protects us. us. And um, right now, uh, like last year, we came to this same forum with the leader of the, the political leader of the Mesquito people, uh, Mr. Brooklyn Rivera, uh, who also had a, a political party named Yatama which um, uh, prior to his uh, after he was captured he they, they canceled the political party so um, what I'm trying to say is when he tried to leave from the United States on, on last year uh, he was um, he was not accepted by the Nicaraguan government to come in again to Nicaragua so since we have a land in Honduras and Nicaragua uh, he went to Honduras and he went through there to our ancestor land and he was captured by the Sandinistas or the government police uh, and now it's like six and a half months that we don't know if he's alive or dead so we came to denounce here the situation and also um, uh, another leader uh, Elizabeth Enriquez she was also in prison and, and condemned I think it's for like eight years now or nine years by the Nicaraguan government without no justification, no, no justified reason. So we're trying to f find out where is Brooklyn, if he's alive, or if he's alive, then we need to know, uh, we need to have the proof of life. Also, we need to uh, have him released, we demand his release because he's an indigenous leader and that's our ancestral land. I mean, if you can't even go to your ancestral land and you can talk about your own ancestral land and criminalize because of talking for the for your own right and your people's right, then uh, there is no room to, uh, for us to for, to leave. So that's what uh, the situation is in, in Nicaragua right now. Can you please tell us a little bit more about Mr. Brooks and Elizabeth mm -hmm. and their significance for the Pueblo Mesqui Mesquita in Nicaragua and Honduras? Yes, uh, Brooklyn Rivera is the uh, main uh, leader or the historical leader of the uh, Mosquito um, uh, or, or the Mosquitia, the territory of Mosquitia leader. And uh, Elizabeth is, uh, Miss Elizabeth is his uh, second uh, in, in, I would say the second, uh, after him is like, wow. Uh, deputy? Se yes, yeah, second deputy, yes, that's correct, it's deputy. Uh, so uh, they are very important. Uh, they w were the founder of the, um, Mosquito or the indigenous uh, political uh, party Yatama, which is mean Yaptitas Bamasraka, which is mean the uh, seeds of Mother Earth. So that's the that was the main political party that was uh, the people uh, representation on the political uh, um, arena. So they are very uh, important in our struggle. Uh, without them, it's like uh, we don't have a, a, a leadership figure or like a father to uh, the Mosquito people. Yes. What is the significance of the United Nations Permanent Forum for Indigenous Issues? And how is, can it, this be a platform for the Mosquito Nation to fight for their rights? Well, yes, um, for us it's very important, the uh, United Nations on Indigenous Rights. Um, because uh, that's the only place where we can come and say 
what's really going on and, and it's a platform where we can speak freely and and uh, and we hoping that you know by coming here and speaking they would at least uh, work on, on situations uh, in our situations um, with the government so they are like the I'm thinking they are like or we think that they are like the uh, bridge between government and the indigenous people so it is very important yes do you have any final message for people who might see this video and maybe a final message to them and how they can potentially help well um we need all the help that we can you know all the indigenous peoples and non-indigenous peoples uh, you know uh people who love uh, human rights you know that um can uh intercede for us that we are I mean, it's hard to say like this, but we are literally helpless, you know, when you have a government that controls all the uh, power, uh, it's, mm, there is nothing we can do, you know, and then people can't even uh, demonstrate or, or get outside or say something, you know, if we do, uh, people are imprisoned just by saying, you know, uh, we, um, by talking for the right, so people are afraid, so we are voiceless right now, so whoever listening you know like i said the uh any community doesn't have to be indigenous communities so whoever you know loves peace and loves uh, other people's right and human right that we hope that they would um, somehow help us you know bring our voice to our uh, further places yes i understand thank you and also one last question what is the significance of land to you and to your people for for us uh, land is the um is everything to us that's what we call uh, mother earth we, we live with the land with without the land we can't um, exist we coexist with the land we don't use the land for like uh, big um corp like the big corporation uses for example we use the land to in, in our land we use uh the land to um, to live from, you know, like uh, let's say we go to the to the mountains to to um, hunt deer, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and we eat from that. We don't we don't uh, um, profit from it. We don't profit from Correct. it. We don't profit from. It. We don't we don't cut our trees and sell sell in a in a in a bulk. We use the tree to build our house. Correct. You know. And the river, we don't use the river, but for the fish and to get the water from it. You know? So uh, it's for us, without the, the land, we are, we are hopeless. I understand. Yes. So that's our life. It is life itself, yes. Muchisimo gracias, Don Carlos. Thank you very much, Mr. Carlos, for representing your people and being the voice of the Mesquito Nation here at the United Nations Permanent Forum for Indigenous Issues. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.